125th birth anniversary of Sri Nataraja Guru was celebrated at Narayan Guru Cultural Center, Silong, on Sunday. The chief guest of the function was Professor Xavier P. Mao, Philosophy Department, Northeastern Hills University. In the function, the guests in the dice speak about the life of the saint Sri Nataraja Guru and his education. Nataraja Guru was born in Bangalore in British India on 18 February 1895. His mother was Bhagwati and his father Paplu was a doctor who founded the Sri Narayan Dharma Pari Palana, Society for the Propagation of the Religion of Sri Narayan or SNDP. In 1903 of which Narayan Guru was the first president. Natarajan was the third of five children having both an older and younger brother and older and younger sister. He received a high class education in Bangalore, Trivandrum and Kandy before being awarded a master's degree by Madras Presidency College. Quarterly Oneness magazine was also released to mark the occasion. <laughs> It's nothing else because they don't need anything else. So that is how the journey started. Nagaraja Guru has become a disciple of Sri Narayana Guru. After that he has become, uh, see, he is a geologist, he is a biologist. And even genetic science tells that each human individual is unique. Even the so-called twin. Identical twin itself is a misnomer. Identical twin is also not identical at all. And if that is so, there is plurality. There is many. Then why does he talk of one, oneness? There are many in the empirical fact. There are many and yet one. What does it mean? How to understand this concept? Is he talking nonsense or is he talking a very deep and profound kind of a philosophy that required very serious critical thinking. Last Friday, Patricia Mokhi in the editor has uh, critically evaluated uh, Arthur Basama as a melee about that Kasi should marry only Kasi, Kasi should trade with uh, Kasi and the Kasi should give rent to the only Kasi that she says is uh, uh, not a top of all, that is uh, narrow minded and that will not take the Kasi people to a larger vision horizon. That kind of thinking is also highly antithetical to what Sri Narayana or his disciple Nataraj is thinking. Then let us try to understand in what way that. Well, as for the Advait Vedanta's thinking, there are five stages of the human consciousness. The first stage is we are awake now, wakeful state. And after that, another stage is that we dream. That dreaming state is also there. Then another stage is uh, sleeping kind of a state. Then another state is a completely deep sleep that you are not at all aware of what is there. And yet, when you are deeply asleep, when you wake up, oh, I had a very wonderful sound sleep. It was very, very beautiful. What does it mean? Why is it so? In what way? How often do we reflect on this. And when we are dreaming right now, how to distinguish what is the criteria that right now we are not in a dream. In our dream also we dream something like this. That you know, in my dream we had a gathering and then we had some discussion. And then now we think we are in a wakeful state. But what is the distinguishing criteria? Your sleep activity and the wakeful activity, what are the difference? What is the distinction? What criteria? Can anybody tell me what criteria, what do you think? 